Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today we're playing a little bit of Ursa. I second phase the hero of this game. This is on the Smurf. If you're curious about my current MMR, it's basically not a Smurf anymore. We are 6.830, and uh, yeah, we're on our way to 7k MMR. Then to 8k, I'll probably do a series, maybe even, even stream some games, only because that's when it gets really intense. That's when things get actually extremely difficult. Now I gotta decide what items I wanna buy. Uh, honestly, these, these starting items seem fine. I have, honestly, with Warlock, I probably even shouldn't even buy the self. Yeah. I think this is fine. Can I go stick against Centaur? No, that's probably pretty bad. All right, I should probably, uh, I should probably get out onto the map. I'm just gonna buy, uh, yeah, I honestly don't know. I feel like with Warlock, I'm not supposed to buy that much regen. I just hope he heals me. The last Warlock I played with didn't heal me at all. <laughs> like, it was really bad. So hopefully this one is different, but... All right, in terms of items, maybe I even could have went Oove this lane. I think a lot of players probably would have went Oove against Pudge Centaur, and then I'm thinking about it. I guess hindsight is 2020, but um, actually there's no hindsight. What am I talking about? But nonetheless, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want more of these gameplay videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, do tell me who you want me to play next. I know there's people who are like, yeah, I've been saying Shadow Fiend for like eight years and Meepo, and it's like, guys, I'll get to them eventually on the Smurf series. Those are, oh, whoops, I'm blocking already, radiant. I need to focus. No! No. All right, we're okay. They're blocked. Oh, I actually should have been blocking, apparently. Oh, he let the range creep go first. Okay. Oh, I couldn't get... All right, he didn't deny it. He didn't deny it. But um, it's a little bit hard for me to play those type of heroes because I'm not good at them. That's... All right, I couldn't get that. I'm not good at them. Oh, no. Okay. So it, it, sometimes it's a bit of a struggle, but let's actually ship up this Oove right away. I want these creeps to reconnect. Nice. Okay, this is good. Just want to thread him off the creep there. Oh, I kind of griefed that. Let's make sure we get it. Nice. I even aggro that melee creep just to make sure I could actually get the deny and not just not have him get the CS. Obviously, denies early on are very, 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 very important. Uh, only problem with this, like, Warlock Ursuline is range creep secure. It's really hard to to ever secure any range creeps, but that's all right. It's it's okay to lose one or one or two if you don't have range creep secure. Just to sort of make sure that your, your HP doesn't get annihilated. All right, we'll get the lane back here. Honestly, I should be auto attacking a little bit because there's way too many creeps. Dude, I, it's so annoying. I'm, I've gotten to the point in MMR <laughs> where people are starting to like aggro deny my CS and stuff and like double deny and it's... I wouldn't say it's a challenge. I'm obviously used to it. I've, I've played plenty of Dota. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. But it's just such a it's such a flip. People are really, really starting to deny. Um, and it's like a big difference, you know, when you go up in MMR, you can, there's just such a noticeable difference between people's abilities to last hit and deny. It really is uh, more significant than I think even most people realize. Oh, I'm not going to get this. I am. Never mind, I'm the goat. Damn. Oh, never mind, he messed up. My courier got sniped by a punch. All right. Sick. But we're almost there. Honestly, like, here's a good time for me to hit him. I guess I'm missing one creep because of it, but that's fine. I don't want to overextend or commit my Q, because then if I get hooked, I'm actually just stuck. Let's try to get this range creep deny. After that, I, I don't think I want to rush the, the Mega Oof. I don't think it's that good. I'll probably just go rush phase this game, honestly. I think, like, with this much kill potential, I don't need a ring of health. So I don't need to, like, buy hood or anything like that. It is a decent hood game, to be fair, if I wanted to go for that. That route. Alright, do I still buy a wand? Nah, I'm really just gonna rush phase straight up, because uh, they don't even cast any spells in this lane. You can see, even players, they get so much better about creep aggro. Like, this is a big thing, you know? In, in this bracket, I think that I need to probably be walking up more and zoning him off the aggro earlier, so we can't do that. But these players, they they constantly aggro in these, in these poor lanes. So he's gonna static the wave. I'll also static the wave a little bit, just with this range creep. Keep it alive so I can get the lane back. It won't do much, but it will do enough. So yeah, I, I need to be zoning him off more. Because if I zone him like that, then I can just walk back, get the deny. Walk back, get the CS. Whoops, I should have made a slot for that. Okay, I need to de-aggro here. Just get this melee creep deny. And yeah, this is what I wanted to do. And I probably should have done even the last wave as well. Which is like preemptively read when he's going to go aggro and then walk up. Sort of try to zone him off a bit. Right, there's too many creeps here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go bring them over. I guess I can't really do that now. Okay, I'm just going to bring them back. Because if I static them here, then the next wave is just going to push under my tower. So I'll just have to auto attack a little bit here. 
I'm gonna kill this range creep just because it does the most damage. Okay, Centaur's trying to drag waves now. Okay, so honestly, I think I when I get this phase, I'll just start chasing him around. Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit it. There's this attack animation so fast. All right, now with these phase boots, I really want to try to get on top of the centaur. I don't know where he is. Here we go. So I'll wait for him to go for this creep, and then I'll go on him. All right, that's fine. Make him commit a stun. Do I go Battle Fury this game? It's like a pretty reasonable game to go Battle Fury and just like hit some later timing because it's a really good Ursa game. But at the same time, because it's a really good Ursa game, I can also go a bit of an earlier game build. It's pretty hard for me to pressure Centaur under tower. Only because if I get stunned under tower, it's just very awkward. Oh, that's the real one. <laughs> Alright, let's go farm up the large camp. Because the wave is under- oh, I guess there is none. Because the wave's under the tower, I have a little bit of time to do whatever. So I'm actually going to prep this so it gets me neutral items here. Come on! Give me a neutral item! Ah! So that, that's just tragic. All right, I'm assuming those are the illusions. I won't even bother with that. Of course, my razor gets it. Gosh, dang it. I would have used the shovel. Shovel's actually so good on Ursa. Because like with these items, I don't really have sustain. So the, the items I can get are actually really nice. All right. Yeah, this early game is going to be pretty boring. There's not much I can do besides just kind of like AFK... Static the wave, keep it back. The usual. Just gotta make sure I don't miss any CS and we'll be on our merry way. I obviously want to try to kill the small camp again as soon as possible when it respawns, just for the neutral items. I don't know why I'm not skilling my ulti, it's obviously just fine. Part of me almost feels like maybe I should just buy a Morbid Mask because without it, I can't actually pressure Centaur that well. Retaliate is too much of a problem. Like, I'll actually just sort of kill myself. But, all right, let's just shove this in and then go take the small camp. We're going to have to probably shove in two waves before we go kill it, which is fine. I think that's the efficiency because the next one should be, it's closer to his, in between his tier two, tier one right now. I'll block this just so maybe it doesn't go under tower. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Gosh, dang it. All right, let's get this in as soon as possible. Looks like it's a dark seer mid. Interesting. I think. And our... Our offlane Weaver crushed. Oh my god. He's going to get a kill on this AA easily as well. My god. It's a beatdown. What is happening in this game? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you love the chipped vest. <laughs> it's just a good day when you get a chipped vest. Also, I should have denied this ward. This ward is losing me a lot of efficiency. I want to be taking the large camp at this point. But it's just not there. So I 100% should have uh, de-warded this by now. Uh, I think at this point it's just going to run out, right? Oh, no, it's not. Using overpower to deward? And yeah, honestly, I know this looks like very boring gameplay, but I'm pretty sure this is exactly what you do. I mean, the reality is you don't want to, like, rotate necessarily. Like, what am I going to do? Rotate mid this game? Like, I know Urs is a killer, but trust me, 70 CS at 10 minutes, you're doing fine. You're doing quite all right. Also, when you're going from camp to camp, make sure you pop over overpower beforehand. Another thing to note about overpower is the duration is much longer than the cooldown, and so popping it early in general is very important. There's a life stealer here. I don't know where the enemy team is, so I'd imagine maybe they're gonna try to make a play. This could be bait to some extent. Nah, Pudge is mid. I don't know. I think they just, I don't know, they're probably yelling at each other and just screaming at each other, yeah. But I'm not gonna rotate till I have to. Urs is one of the better dead lane heroes as well. Only because of Enrage. If they don't have hard stuns, it can be very hard for them. Okay, so this guy's just jungling our jungle. Um, I will ignore it for now. I will let Razor take care of that. And I will push in the lane once again. Uh, I guess maybe I can help out here. I don't think he needs me, but try to steal the kill. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right, what well, dude, what is this game, guys? I, it's so funny. My last two games I played... They were, like, really bad. Like, my team was just feeding, man. This game is just a beatdown. Like, it's not even close. My offlane crush, my mid one. I mean, not surprisingly, my mid one. He was against the Darkseer, but it's a beatdown. Take the mana regen talent when going this build. Just so you have enough mana for your spells. And we will rinse repeat until we have our items. 
So that's all we can do. And want to do. I would run at this uh, centaur more, but he's playing very defensive. I'll chase him here, actually. Let's get some damage. It's nice. Force the rotation, right? Oh, I always stress how important it is to do that type of thing. Right now, Pudge is just... He's not stuck stuck, but he's in a weird position. He's kind of just like in a lane he doesn't want to be in. He doesn't want to be in the Ursa lane. <laughs> I'm going to say that and die to some like hook AA blast and just eat my words, but you get the point. On average, Pudge, not a fan of Ursa. Just not a hero Pudge likes playing against for obvious reasons. But hopefully Centaur's not farming the large camp. Let's actually run over there right away. Just make sure he's not taking that. Keep farm away from us. Yep, we're going to kill this as quick as possible. I'm not going to spawn the skeletons here, only because I want to get to the wave and not miss any wave creeps. Should be no problem. I'm going to wait to ship out of clarity. When you look at our levels, we're going to be really high. Yeah, you can see we're, we're basically the highest in the game, which goes to show that this is efficient, you know. Obviously, what's more efficient is getting like 80 kills, but... <laughs> Tom's just a boring game. You know, you're, you're, you're very right, Tom. Nothing's happening. I've actually haven't had a game in like, like this in a while. The enemy team's not even trying to do anything. They have an AA and they're not making any plays. Like, that is insane. How do you not make any plays with an AA? Like, I feel like I should have died at this point, but I haven't. Part of me also wants to just buy a Sawn Shearer, so I'm just don't die to their burst, because they do have a lot of burst. Uh, Basher's pretty standard. It's a really good Basher game, though. I'll just go Basher. Stick to that build. Like, I don't know what I'm watching. Are they just AFK? Where's their Dark Seer? Jungling or something? At this point, with this Diffusal, I kind of want to... I'm going to buy a Smoke and Smoke around. I don't want to run into their triangle, like, without teammates. If my Warlock's in the area, I'll do it. I can, I guess I'll pressure this tower. The large camp is dead. Usually you would never do this as Ursa, but this game's kind of an edge case. Oh my god. I can't believe... <laughs> I guess I'm posting this. I mean, you still got to see the, the very standard laning stage. Well, not standard, but solid laning stage, which, you know, just allows me to have a very easy game. But, man. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Okay. Also, another thing to note is um, if I'm to rotate out of this lane, it would actually give them an area to farm. So it's very important that I don't rotate unless I have to, because if you think about it, uh, they must have given up, right? Yeah, I can help you, Roche. But if I leave bottom, then they actually get to farm bottom. They have somewhere to go. But if I stay bottom, it completely shuts down the map for them. So now I kind of just want to sit on hills. So this looks like a good fight. I could probably kill this Darks here. Oh, we use Surge, poor guy. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh, I was gonna go help with the budge just to make sure my guy didn't die. Also, you never want to use. You only use your Q once um they're out of range, right? Use the Q for mobility. All right, I'm gonna go Roche. Oh my god, I'm burning. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need my guy to help. Ursa can Roche with like more of a mask. We don't really Roche alone. As you can see, it is not very favorable. I'm glad my Lena is here to stun it. Whoops, misclicked. Uh, you don't gotta tank this much, Lena. <laughs> Alright, cool. I will quickly pick up my calling blade. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm just gonna continue to look through the jungle here. At this point, I do want to put like a very aggressive posture. With this much of an advantage, you want to continue to farm just in aggressive areas, right? I don't want to farm in areas that will get me like hooked under a tier two though, but I will go for this AA kill once I have overpower. I don't want to go for it without it because there's just a chance I get counter initiated on and, and die and that would be suboptimal, but yeah. I don't want to walk around in areas of vision. Dude, how's this guy have illusions again? Oh, did he see me on that creep wave? Oh my lag, what the? Whoa, I'm just like freezing. What is this? What the heck? I haven't lagged in a while. What in the world? Oh! <laughs> this is horrible. Alright, I got the punch kill before my Aegis runs out, but... That was bad. I don't know what's happening in this game. <laughs> People are just like walking around, Warlock's like split pushing bottom or something. What is happening? Obviously if my team is there, that's just an easy fight, but... Their guy's actually getting quite a bit of farm now, their lifestealer. I think he's just farming our jungle. I respect what the lifestealer is doing. He's like saying like, hey, this game's impossible, but I can still take their jungle, right? I can still push in their, their side of the map. I don't really want to hit this tower. What is this? I guess I'm 
guess I could get hooked and die here. God. Blade mail. This version of Ursa really hates these type of fights like Under Tower. It's so bad. It's, like you you don't really want to get gone on as this version of Ursa. I'll TP on this guy. That's Basher. Thank God he showed on a wave and I bought a Basher. I did partially buy a Basher for that reason. It's also just a good Ursa item. It gives you about 200 HP. And you notice I took the uh, health talent. You do plenty of damage with these items. Like, you don't really have any problems. Uh, I need to... I forgot I don't have Aegis anymore. But you have no problem doing any damage, so you just want to pick up DPS. Also, I want this Bull Whip really badly. Hmm. Imclaw or Bull Whip? It's actually tough. I, I lack a lot of sustains. So I kind of want the bull whip for that reason. There's no rush to end this game. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm Ursa. I'm, I don't have a Battle Fury. Like, I need to end the game. I still farm very quickly. Like, don't panic, guys. Just because, like, they're farming and the game's not ending, your team might tilt and such. Also, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for bull whip. Ursa is AFK. I just killed Lifestealer and shoved in the waves. Hey, man, pay attention to the map. Come on, bro. I want to go on this guy? Yeah. Dude, no bash. Am I going to die because of that? I just wanted to kill him and get out. Yikes, this is not so good now. Where, where did he just blink to? Alright. I'm actually going to ship out a salve. Let's just go jungle for a minute. I don't want to get stuck. There's Lifestealer. Yo, this Lena, see, I think she is the problem where you just have to end the game right away. It's like, bruh. We're crushing. Look at the life stealer. He's like five levels below me or something like that. It's not even close. I have too, way too many items, though. I can tell you that for sure. I need to just start dropping some items. The smoke was fine. I, I was going to use it to Roche, but way too many items now. I actually think I'm supposed to buy the shard. I'll buy the tome if no one's going to buy it, too. Yeah, this guy's fantastic. I really should just... I guess I need to enrage before going on this guy. That's why you need the shard, so when you jump people, you don't have to, like, pop your real enrage. But that blade mail, it's actually nasty how much damage it's doing to me. It's really rough. <laughs> it's, like, really, really rough. So, I know my lean is going to call this griefing, but really, I just... Oh my god, these iron shield creeps are so tanky. Nice. Razor's popping off. We can run back over there as soon as possible now. Honestly, I know I'm smoked, but I want to cut this wave. Just so we can get the tier 2 if we win this fight. Okay, I'm lagging again. Sick. I really feel like I need a Morbid Mask for the future. Oh my god. Slideshow. <laughs> I can't play! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Yeah, you're still fucking beating. <laughs> oh, nice. He casted. I'm just gonna ulti so I don't take damage. He casted his dismember while my shard thingy was going, which gives you like the temporary. It gives you the temporary uh, status resistance, right? The enrage buff. So OP, but yeah, in the future, I think if I'm gonna go this build, I think I'm gonna buy more of a mess. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I literally am stuck on this awful amount of HP. Like, a, a relatively unplayable amount of HP. Honestly, I'm just gonna buy the Morbid Mask now. Brick it. What is going on over here? My Razor's trying to 1v5. Let's see if he can do it. And Razor, we believe. My Warlock's buying back. Uh-oh. Dude. Oh my god, I can't click Fury Swipe damage. Are you kidding me? Hello? I can't take my talent! Alright, whatever, I'll just go kill Light Stealer. The guy diving you? Oh shoot. Maybe I shouldn't have. Nice. This in this enraged thing is so broken. 
I mean, it's not actually broken because your hero's not broken necessarily, but... It just makes, like, certain stuns so useless. If you can see them coming, you can just time your thingy and completely destroy them. I saw that courier on my right. Can I take my talent now? No? Not an option? Alright. Where's this courier? I'm currently dying? <laughs> How did I end up here? How <laughs> How am I in the middle? I, I reconnect. I'm in the middle of their team. At least I can take my talent now. Huh? Huh? Pretty good? Looks like an awful fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I guess I want to initiate. Alright, I guess we're going in. Oh, how did that link break? Another very awkward fight next to their base, but YOLO, I'm in. Oh, a ghost scepter. I think they have a bunch of ghost scepters now. I actually might need to buy Nullifier next item, which I definitely think I sort of need BKB, but at the same time, I, they don't really have great stuns to lock me down. Like, I'm always going to get off in rage unless something really bad happens, but especially with this Aegis, I'll be fine for a while. This is Shard. It's really tanky you now. Really, I'm dead. Hey, maybe I do need BKB actually. <laughs> Alright, let's just get in the waves. They're actually so tanky, these ion shells making it so hard to kill him. It's a very weird game. Like, it feels like we don't really have. Our teammates half the time? Like, every time I go in, there's just no rock. There's no, like, Lena stuns. I don't really know what's happening in this game. It's a, it's a, this is a very uh, odd game. Now, all they need to do to not throw is just not get caught up in all the action and make sure I'm just continuing to shove in lanes, continuing to get up these jungle camps, hit my next timings, because honestly, that, that was much worse than I thought. I blinked in quite early there. Maybe I shouldn't have. I definitely could have waited for my team, and I think I probably should have. But, yeah, I just got to get these waves in now. Let's get up the camps. Life Sealer's actually walking in this direction. Hopefully I don't lag my brains out again. You can't go high ground. What is... You, you can see, like, see how my team's, like, posturing together and doing this? I'm just not a fan of this play. We're not going to go high ground. I don't want to be in an area where they can see us and we can't see them. That's, like, worst case scenario, you know? Until that changes, I will continue to shove the waves. I guess I'm just selling the Morbid Mask at this point. Honestly, I think the Wand is actually better. Actually, maybe I'm on the fence about that. <laughs> wand is probably not better, but... I'm just such a wand enthusiast. Like, I think playing Dota without a wand in, like, 90% of games is just a mistake. This item is, is relatively broken. For its item cost. Alright, we got our BKB now. My team is continuing to dive. Which I will continue to not do. Oh no, Razor got hooked. Like, obviously... They're gonna keep pinging me, especially Tom. But that's just a bad play. Like you have to, you have to understand the distinction. Uh, distinction. My team right now at this point of the game literally needs to just chill. I mean, I can chill because I'm lagging out, and obviously I'm gonna get flame for farming and all. But the reality is, how can we walk up to their high ground? Who's gonna siege? Who's gonna siege? Who's gonna siege? No one. No one on my team can siege. We cannot siege. If, if any of us get hooked or vacuumed or stunned, what's the safe? We're just gonna, I mean, like, maybe we rock, but then, like, one of our BKB heroes is just gonna, Oh my god, I want to react to this centaur walking up to me, but I can't. Ah! <gasps> this is insane. Alright, one second. Alright, so now... I need to convince my team to buy a smoke and use a smoke. There's currently two in shop. Guys, if you are a support player, and there's two smokes in shop, you are not good. Even if you have two in your inventory, it does not matter. Because you want to get the cooldown ticking. It's like having four wards in stock. That doesn't happen because people know... The importance of words but it's very very crucial to not let two smokes be in stock in dota but all right let's group up this dark is actually becoming a problem he's like all these he's actually like really hard to kill this spirit vessel on our warlock all right please get this kill it'd be a big kill 
Okay, maybe a free AA here. Oh, he's got the shore. My blink's getting cancelled. What does he have? Four staff glimmer? My Lena has a hex. Okay. We're very we're getting very close to our 25, which is also such a big timing for Ursa. You get plus three overpower attacks. So that's huge. This nullifier plus um the overpower attacks will basically guarantee solo kills. Obviously, we can try to go high ground here. Uh it's getting tough. I mean, once again, I know I'm 100 percent sure my team wants to go high ground here, right? But we will get flamed if we don't. And my team might break their items. I actually think they might give up if I don't go. So we will try. There's a chance it works. Maybe we can just get a kill, but it is very, very awkward against Pudge. Someone gets hooked. Okay. First hook. Defusal the Pudge. Keep him out of position. I just want to continue to go back to the tower. Like, we can just hit these buildings. Oh my god. I'm going to get hooked because, like, okay, never mind. Even with the slideshow, I see the hook coming and I dodge it. Yeah. Go. Just building up from Fury Swipes on this guy. Not going to overcommit or anything like that. Just want to continue to poke in and out, in and out, in and out. Right. Just slowly get in the building. So this is going great. I, I mean, thankfully he's hit a total of zero hooks. So I'm just going to let the... Oh, wow. Razor is Axe. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to BKB here. Okay. Oh, wait. I didn't BKB? Oh, wrong hockey. Okay. I was like, what? I didn't BKB? Okay. We're killing them all. I don't know. That worked out. So even though I definitely wasn't a fan of that play, if they hit a hook, no hooks were hit. We didn't overextend. And that was actually very well played by my team. No one dove, which is actually kind of shocking. Like literally not a single person dove. And that's a big key though. I hope you guys saw that, you know, as much as I was kind of joking around saying that like, hey, we really shouldn't go high ground. And I was very nervous about going high ground. If you are going to go high ground, it's important to make sure that that happens. All right, let's end up this game. And get on out of here. All right, and that's going to be about all, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully, you can see the importance of simplicity in gameplay. I uh, I know this was a relatively boring game in terms of action, but, you know, the, the simple decisions are the important ones. We secure Roshan. I shove the lanes until there's a good fight. And that's the key thing about being coming a good Dota player. It's not overcomplicating games, especially when you get ahead. Guys, I even coached someone recently, one of my friends, Booga, and, um, you know, he, he struggles with this. He was struggling with... This concept of just like, hey, I get ahead, what should I do? Control the map, control the lanes. Even during the laning stage, if you get ahead, control the wave, right? Keep it back. Unless you want a flash form, keep it back. Control the waves. Don't overextend. You don't have to dive. You just slowly build up this net worth lead. Slowly but surely build up this net worth lead and, and shut down the map. And that's like what I think my team did very well this game. Um, so yeah, shout out to the boys. Except for Tom. Tom, you're annoying. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below and I'm out. Peace.